So I know it's been just about three weeks since I last released a video, but today I'm here to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what's going to be happening this month on this channel. So I kind of want to use December to make up for the garbage release schedule that I've had pretty much throughout the entire year of 2022, starting with very frequent videos throughout the entire month of December. So let's start off with the washing machine videos. Those videos have been very popular on this channel ever since I think around 2016. I still can't really comprehend why so many people want to watch just a video of a washing machine doing its cycle, but because so many of you guys kept requesting that I bring them back, I brought them back in February of this year. Now, instead of just releasing a washing machine video, on the first Friday of this month, which actually happens to be tomorrow, I've decided to release one every single Friday for the entire month of December. And yes, for those wondering, that does include tomorrow. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the Coleman videos. Now, some of you might remember that I released a few of these back in 2021, starting around the time that me and Josiah got back from our trip to Indiana to do the fireworks show. A few months ago, I got three new lanterns that I shot videos of, but have not had any time to edit, and those will be being released this month as well. Those of you that watched the 2022 Road trip to Indiana know that on the way back to Colorado after the 4th of July I ended up hitting a deer in Missouri and in the video where that happened I showed the damage to my front end pretty much it's just a big dent in my front bumper and it completely destroyed my driver's side fender however that incident ended up causing a lot more damage to my car than I knew at the time I had actually planned on releasing a video in July talking about everything that happened to the forerunner after hitting the deer but I never had time to do it I actually did get a good amount of it shot but it's pretty much the same story I have with the Coleman Lantern videos, I just have not had any time to get it edited and uploaded to YouTube. So throughout the month of December, there's going to be at least two, maybe three videos talking about what all happened to the Forerunner after hitting the deer, and maybe a couple videos on fixing some of the damage. The next thing I want to talk about is the Christmas light videos, and I'm sure a few of you are pretty excited for that. I am too, because I freaking love Christmas lights. I love the Christmas season and all that good stuff. Now, the videos I'm going to be doing this year related to Christmas lights will be pretty similar to the ones I did back in 2021. However, we're not going to be taking a look back at any of my old Christmas light videos this year because I just did that last year. Back on Halloween, I released a video looking at a light show called Fright Lights. Now, this was done by the same company who puts up the Christmas in Color drive through light show at Bandermere Speedway and a few other places. And I will, of course, be doing a video showing you guys the 2022 edition of Christmas in Color. Some of you might remember the look back I did last year to a few of my Christmas light videos in 2016, and one of those featured a set of motion Christmas lights. And I mentioned in the revisit to that video that I really wanted to find another set of those and I finally did. It's not exactly the same, it's not as cool as the one I had before, it's only three channels, but they are incandescent and it does have all the same effects that the one that I had way back in 2016 had. So we will be having a video specifically on this set of Christmas lights and as you might notice I did manage to pick up two of them. That's for the outdoor Christmas light display which of course I will be doing again this year and I actually managed to finally get a bunch more Christmas lights to finally do the crazy overkill outdoor display that I wanted to do last last year but couldn't because I couldn't find Christmas lights anywhere. One last thing on the topic of Christmas lights before I move on here is this set of Christmas lights right here. Now I did a video on these way back in 2016. Yes, I do still have them. This is the exact same set and they do still work. So I might do a revisit to that video this year. If you guys want to see it, let me know down in the comments below. This is probably my favorite strand of Christmas lights that I own. Now the last thing I want to talk about that maybe might potentially happen this month. I tried to do it last year, but I ran out of time. However, this year I'm not leaving the state for Christmas. Christmas, so hopefully I'll have a little bit more time to get it done, and that is, of course, an updated desk tour. I have not done a desk tour since 2018, and quite a few things have changed with my setup, mainly getting displays that match the size of the IMAX built-in 27-inch display, but there are, of course, quite a few more changes that have happened to my desk setup since 2018, and if all goes well, I will have that released on New Year's Eve of this year. So there you go, guys. Again, I'm sorry it's been so long since I released a video. I've been very busy with work, but that's finally starting to calm down down just a little bit, which is of course giving me more time to work on videos for this channel. Come back tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I will be releasing the first washing machine video for December. But anyway guys, with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.